Okay, so just finishing up the article here. A spokeswoman, presumably for Facebook, said, We don't allow organizations or individuals engaged in human trafficking or organized violence to maintain a presence on Facebook. Oy vey. So that's the end of the article. But immediately contradicting this spokeswoman's... Uh, spokeswoman this spokeswoman's quote here is that you have a lot of blue check marks on facebook approved accounts advocating for open borders that is human trafficking how can you how can you see open borders as not an issue of human trafficking you're moving people through other countries who have no reason to be there who are not having tabs kept on them so we don't know who's being let into our countries we don't know if they're good or bad well, we well anyone that has a rational fucking world view knows that these are bad fucking people by and large well maybe not even by and large but we're letting in a lot of rotten eggs that are making our western countries decline in quality. I mean, I hate going back to the example over and over again, pointing out how Sweden had virtually no rapes, and then they let in a whole bunch of muzzies, rapes every day of the week. If you import third world people, you will also import third world problems. And we need to call this on its face that bringing people in from foreign countries without screening them is an issue of human trafficking. And that's also something that a lot of these human, human rights, rights groups, groups are involved in. And non-government, non-government organizations, organizations trying to advocate for the poor brown people who are just trying to get a better life in the West. That is human trafficking as well. But it's, again, uh, as part of the fucking communist playbook, they, it's human trafficking going under a polite sounding name of a pro-refugee group or, you know, something that's saving these people. That's not what's happening. These non-government organizations are facilitating an invasion of the West. So there is more to this article, but it's basically saying that there's illegal activity on Facebook and there's a debate over how to regulate it. So long story short with this is Facebook is looking for reasons to crack down on what you're allowed to say on Facebook using a chaotic situation to set precedents for restricting freedoms in in a situation where we don't have much chaos but they but they're just trying to put more control over what we talk about so we don't say anything that could be potentially dangerous and dangerous in this context means pointing out the lies pointing out the wool being pulled over our eyes about the destruction of our own nations the destruction of our own cultures and like these petty lies like so much as calling out that being open borders is being like being open borders for Canada, let's say, is being anti-Canadian. Because if you're if you're talking about having open borders for a country, you are talking about destroying the population that is already there to make something new, something that's better, something that's it's a social experiment, goy. Why don't you just go along with it? You're not a hateful person, are you? So I'm I'm through with this bullshit. Full article is in the link if you care about it, but I think I've hit the high points from it. By the way, as a general trend for this, I will address the first part of the article. When they tend to go into the latter parts of the article, it's not as impactful. Like when you're writing articles, you're told to put the most impactful parts up front. They're usually front loaded. And I'd probably go off in autistic screeching because a very common trend, which we're likely to see a lot going through articles, is they'll present things in proximity that aren't necessarily related. Because by presenting different ideas in proximity you are you're basically forcing a connection between them in this case we have an example where being able to speak openly and freely on facebook is being connected to acts of extremism which i don't doubt that there's some illegal shit really instigating violence on uh, on facebook especially in these shithole countries but i also don't doubt that this narrative would be used to restrict the freedoms of law-abiding citizens who are criticizing the government and criticizing the establishment in the West. 
Moving on to our second article. This is from Breitbart.com and the full heading is University of Melbourne Speaker Casts Spell on All-Male Conference Panels. Just to put a timestamp on this, I am reading this on the 5th of September. This article was published on the 4th of September of 2018. So, let's begin. An event at the University of Melbourne in Melbourne, Australia last week featured a guest speaker who came to cast a spell to bind all male conference panels. An advertisement for an August 27th event at the University of Melbourne featured a performance artist who was hired to use techno-paganism to cast a spell on all-male speaking panel events. Combining traditional magical elements with techno-paganism, the performance, or live casting, enacts an embodied form of knowledge, knowledge production knowledge. and protection from cis-masculine fortuity. The following discussion will contextualize the performance via an articulation of contemporary queer and writing practices drawing on stupart research into magic fiction and abjection. You have to just drivel and drop into a retarded accent when you read this pretentious bullshit. So I'm drifting into an aside here, but you'll hear the term performance, performance artist, artist a lot in degenerate bullshit events in these pub various kinds of public events. Like spirit cooking is just a performance art, even though you are simulating the ritualistic slaughter and cannibalism of a human being. This casting a spell. Ow is just a performance art and i mean this is more like nefarious than just the neutral word spell it's like a hex or a curse uh, to bind male conference panels I, i'm guessing they're not talking about bondage i'm guessing they're talking about <laughs> that would be weird that ropes just come up out of the ground like it's a, like it's a hentai anime or some shit that would be a really fucking weird thing but i guess what they mean by bind is that they wouldn't be able to speak or wouldn't be able to act or i mean maybe they're just saying this as a as a held back way of expressing that they just want to kill men. But at least they're honest that these super feminists are actually LARPing as witches. Welcome to fucking clown world, huh? What a timeline that we find ourselves in. Amazing. But it's okay. It's okay, Goy. It's just a performance. performance. Out. Another thing to really be aware of is that liars and people who are extremely egocentric and neurotic are drawn towards performance arts because they're attention whores are kind of weird because they're they're very neurotic and they have an attention whore kind of aspect to them but at the same time they don't want anyone to call them out for being a so they want to be in the spotlight but they don't want to be in the spotlight while being recognized as a they don't want to be the king, they want to be the subversive advisor that's behind the king whispering into his ear what to do, so that the king would take the fall for any shit going on, but it's actually the plan that's going through. And a significant way of influencing the masses, see, in a democracy, you're not trying to influence a king, you're trying to influence the masses, thus the need to control media that puts ideas into the public's mind. So performance art, for example, Netflix, for for example, TV shows, uh, even video games, all present ideas to a wide audience. And through mere exposure, through merely repeating over and over again the same messages, you can make low IQ, low thinking, low effort people start to believe in various narratives. And so that's how Jews drive a narrative is through control of the media. You've probably already heard this and through mere exposure over and over again. But just be aware that anything that has to do with performance performance art or someone who's out in the spotlight, if they're not a Jew themselves, then they have to be in good with the Jews. They have to have Jewish favor in order to, well, have any publicity. Because right now, with the way that the establishment is, we need to have the kosher stamp of approval in order to get any publicity in the mainstream media. And that goes not just for being in news programs, but for being in TV shows and being in movies as well. And I'm not necessarily saying people being in movies, but even just ideas being presented in movies. Everything that is presented out there has to serve this purpose of maintaining the globo homo narrative of crushing down cis white male society because that's what progressives do. It's just a way forward because it's 2018, it's the current year. 
fucking gay bullshit. But why can't you, uh, you can't take a joke or something? I mean, it's just a performance art. Fuck that. Back to our lovely article here. The performance artist, Dr. Linda Stupart, is dressed like a clown is dressed like a clown in an advertisement for the event. Literally, clown world dressed like a clown in an advertisement for the event where she's casting a spell against men. The ad goes on to say that Stupart will address the issues of masculinity during the performance. performance. Stupart's personal website includes some bizarre writings about men. As you sew the tongue closed, say, I tie your tongues, your all-male ones, from reproducing only masculine knowledge as truth, one poem reads. Aside, this gets into this postmodernist deconstructivism of what is truth, and, I mean, it's just... It's pseudo-intellectual bullshit that, oh, knowledge isn't the only source of truth. There are other spiritual truths that transcend that. This is not a philosophical discussion of truth. This is a my feelings that men are oppressive is the truth subjectively to that person. This is where we have departed from respecting objective reality because everyone's opinion is valid in some way or another. Well, if you are advocating for global homo gayplex, then your opinion is valid. That's just the zeitgeist. That's just the paradigm of the times, yo. We need to suppress this bullshit that my feels are the truth by bullying these people and saying, no, they're not. Your ideas are stupid. You are parading around your opinions as if they are infallible. Like the assumption that masculinity is evil. Masculinity, the core of masculinity is about self-improvement and building something, contributing to society and to sustaining your society and to protecting your people. Those are all very important aspects of society. There are many aspects of traditional femininity that are also important. Being warm and caring, taking care of your taking care of your man, taking care of your children, and taking care of your family as well. But all that warmth is just thrown away. That's oppressive to be like a traditional female because that's something that the patriarchy does. And the patriarchy holds down women by having these unrealistic expectations on them. Every woman has a biological imperative to reproduce. It's a natural drive that the unbroken chain of lineage before you, every parent and grandparent, great grandparent, so on, was successful at reproducing and you are the culmination of that unbroken chain. Those who did not reproduce did not continue their chain and they died out. That is something that is beautiful about our lineage. And when women are not encouraged to continue that lineage, well, women and men alike are encouraged in the West to not have kids. Oh, you should wait on having kids. And well, there's lots of division between the sexes. That's, you know, a wedge is driven between the sexes through feminism. So it's very difficult to have a healthy, stable relationship when you have all this social signaling going on out there that men are evil and women can do no wrong whatsoever. And you have to respect my feels and your knowledge as truth is only one perspective out there man like there's greater truth than what you can just know there's things that you can only feel like you need to get better in touch with your feminine side that's just a bunch of fucking hippie bullshit and we should bully side these people for being pieces of shit i mean they won't be able to understand the rational arguments of why giving into emotions and neglecting rationality will lead to a society decline. So we have to communicate to them on an emotional level and just get back into properly shaming these motherfuckers who don't deserve to be respected at all. When we see someone literally dressing up as a clown and dressing up like a witch and trying to cast a spell on men for being oppressive or whatever the fuck, we should bully side them. We should be rude to them. We should not respect them. We should not just accept this. We should speak out. I'm saying this all in a peaceful context. We should speak out and say, you're an idiot. You are making a fool of yourself. You should feel like a fool and you're not welcome to to do this kind of thing here. You can try, but we're not going to smile and applaud. We're gonna call you out for the clown that you are.